Gorillas Cracker Island album review. Let's chat about it. Hey friends, what's going on? John here from What's Spinning here tonight to chat about this latest album from legendary virtual band Gorillas. Uh, you know them. You probably have loved them at some point in your life. Legendary virtual band founded by Damon Albarn and Jamie Hewlett, who since the early 2000s, thousands have been pushing genres together having a lot of fun with it bringing a lot of personality in the early 2000s with their self-titled album i mean i i was so thrown off at the time this for years was the essence of cool uh, to me it seamlessly blended alternative rock some rap some trip hop some soul electronic and more and while a long album, and I don't think it's aged as well as some of their other works, it still has so many classic singles and even better deep cuts. And then shortly after, you know what happened. They released the legendary Demon Days and pushed all of those sounds uh, to the nth degree. And still, to this day, I think Plastic Beach, the star-studded Plastic Beach, is probably their best work. But since then, my thoughts on Gorillaz... It's been wishy-washy at, at the best. Um, their Humans album. I mean, I didn't think it was the worst thing in the world. I thought it was okay. Uh, but it had so much hype going into it. And then, I mean, the features here. There's so many great features. I mean, Grace Jones, Pusha T, Danny Brown, Colella, Vince Staples, and more. So many more. The amount of great features on this album is great. Yes, the amount of tremendous features on this album are limitless, but at the same time, for every great feature, there was an equally as really underwhelming one. And the amount of filler on this album is shocking. And, and to this day... I, I, I'm convinced the now now doesn't actually exist because I thought it was average when it came out. I thought it was really average when it came out. And like, I listened to it again two weeks ago. Still can't remember anything about it. Now, their Song Machine, Season 1, Strange Times album, the last time we heard from them. This thing isn't perfect, but I still think it's the best thing they've done since Plastic Beach. It's just so bright and colorful and fun and featured so many great guest verses like the likes of Beck and St. Vincent and Peter Hook and Robert Smith. Now, I for one was really interested to hear how the rest of this album was going to go because I thought for the most part the singles they were dropping sounded pretty good. Let's chat about this thing. This album starts off with Cracker Island featuring Thundercat. I mean, I can't be mad at this track. Not a chance. I mean, there are a few artists that I've heard featured on a Gorillaz track in the last few years that seem more suited for their world than Thundercat. He sounds like he was born for this. It's funky, it's groovy, it's got a really super slick instrumental. It's the perfect blend of really soulful and super hip. It sounds like a very current Gorillaz track. I can't be mad at it. The production's great, it's super catchy. Personally, I'm happy. This track amps me up. And Oil featuring Stevie Nicks is one of my favorite deep cuts here. This track is so slick. It's got a fantastic sort of downtrodden vibe. It's very bittersweet. And Stevie Nicks on this hook... She nails it, and that's not just because I'm a diehard Stevie fan. She has so much of a place here. It's really, really cool. It's very well done. Silent Running featuring Adelaide Mateo is really good as well. I love the very sonic synths that we get on this track. And once again, uh, it's a very downtrodden, very somber tune. There's a lot of surprisingly tragic material on this album. It's got a big memorable hook. I actually love the inclusion of some of the ambient sounds that we get here. And it's really well produced once again. This track just really sticks with you. It's really hypnotic in its own way. Gorillas have this way of just shining up their sound just enough to just make things work again. And New Gold featuring Tame Impala and Booty Brown. This is the best track here. This is one of the best singles I've heard from Gorillaz in a really long time, and it's not even close. This bass groove, Kevin Parker's hook, Booty Brown's performance. This is absolute magic. The chemistry here is legit, and this has all the makings of a true Gorillaz classic. Like, get this track on, get to the dance floor as soon as you can. Now, this is far from a Gorillaz classic, though. 
Um, I mean, it's not a bad album, but there's certainly still a disconnect that I just, I can't shake off. Like the Tired Influencer, what in the absolute hell is this? We get a laid back beat, some really unnecessary samples, and some pretty cringeworthy lyrics. I mean, this is a bleak state of affairs for me. This is right back to the very nonchalant, not interesting music of the now now. I get the sentiment behind it, I really do. I don't think it's very well done though. And Tormenta, featuring Bad Bunny. I think it's a letdown. I think this could have been magic. I mean, I actually like Bad Bunny stuff, but this track here just seems really awkward and misguided. It's not nearly as catchy or infectious or colorful as it could be. This just sounds like, I don't know, a slightly more alternative edge to Bad Bunny track. And by the time we get to Skinny Ape, we're in stripped down territory and... For the moment, it's pretty bad. I mean, this has been a very downtrodden album, like I've said, uh, but honestly, this is a bleak state of affairs once again. Look back in Gorilla's discography. They can absolutely nail a more tragic, very sad kind of track. Hell, they've done it here on this album in much better ways than this. But this is passionless, zero energy, no character in sight. Even when the beat drops halfway through, it's not even exciting. It's just jarring. So now, it's it's not a great album. This is far from a Gorillaz classic. But, I mean, this might just be me. I would still take this over Humans and certainly the Now Now. Like, take for example Baby Queen. This track is fantastic. Once again, this track sounds exhausted. Emotionally exhausted. And that is really well done here. I love how big this chorus gets. The atmosphere just seems so vast and cinematic. While as emotional as it is, it's actually quite beautiful. It hits hard. It ends up being very human sounding, surprisingly so. And Tarantula is sweet and bubbly and oh so colorful. But while sunny from a distance, if you do a little bit more sleuthing, once again, I am shocked by just how tragic this comes off. It's full of heart though, and the deeply vast cinematic world of gorillas is so inviting after all these years. And Possession Island featuring Beck. Wow, like like I said a few minutes ago, some of the more, th th that stripped down track, the one stripped down track, Skinny Ape, like, my God, if you listen to Possession Island after all that, it's night and day. Like, this has been a very somber album, but this is absolutely tear-jerking and gutting and done so well. It ends up being really tragic, but also really beautiful, and Beck's feature is really nice at the end of the day. I'm kind of torn on this album. It's not perfect. I didn't think it was going to be perfect. I'd still rather take this over Humans or The Now Now, but there is a disconnect still. There's a lot of great material on here. Very bubbly, very fun, very colorful, but also very tragic, very somber. Very, I don't know, just, God, real at the end of the day. Very human. But it's a fine album from Gorillaz. If you're thinking of here, they're going to take any risks that push their sound further, you're going to be disappointed. But if you're a longtime fan and you're not expecting anything perfect, there's nothing wrong with this album, not even close. I'm feeling a light seven on this album. Let me know what you all think down below. If you like the video, be sure to give us a like, give us a subscribe, and let me know down below what you would like for me to chat about in the future. And until next time, have a great day, friends.